Good morning. Welcome back to the Vitality Project. <clears throat> I'm Dr. Bob. Yesterday we looked at shame and discussed how it is the most that how it is that it is the most stressful negative emotion for most individuals, uh, and because of that, it's so uh, connected to the addictive cycle of stress increasing, leading to self medication to reduce the stress, that leading to its own stress, uh, increased stress, owing to shame and then further self-medication, and so on it goes. Before we go any further, though, let's see what psychology has to say about shame. Do that today, and we'll also include a brief exercise for you to, to consider. <clears throat> From a psychological perspective, shame is really like a two-sided coin. One side is represented by our experience of any threat to uh, social acceptance, particularly a significant threat uh, to relationships that matter most to us. And, uh, uh, it will, th this will kick up, this, this, uh, this experience will kick up our shame response. And then the reverse side or the flip side of the coin is that we'll also experience this feeling of shame anytime that there's a significant threat to our self-esteem or feeling good about ourselves. If you think about it for a second, any threat to my connection to others is not only going to feel bad of itself, but it's also going to stir up increasingly negative feelings about myself, right? And if I don't feel good about myself, especially if that goes on chronically, that will itself tend to drive people away. And so you can see a vicious cycle here that we can get locked into. Now here's the exercise I want you to consider. Call to mind personal examples of each of these two previous threats. The first one is the threat to social acceptance or rejection. And the second is a threat to self-esteem or feeling good about ourselves. Reflect on, on a couple of examples of each and begin to reflect on how they inform each other mutually. Uh, uh, see if you can recall what feelings came up at the time and even what it feels like now to recall these experiences. And then come back tomorrow. What we'll do is we'll explicitly tie this exercise around uh, our identifying shame. We'll tie it directly into addictive behaviors. And our goal here is to move towards strategies for managing shame for the sake of sustained recovery and, of course, personal vitality. I want to thank you for joining me today at the Vitality Project, and I, I hope you have a good day.